Let me congratulate the 1,200 patriots who we are commissioning today. And I would like to thank them and all their teachers for giving them the motivation to participate in this patriotism program. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, government of Uganda, as you may wish to note, works with everybody. The first and the strongest pillar of NRM has been unity for everybody in the country. Unity for people from northern Uganda, with eastern Uganda, with western Uganda, and central Uganda. And as we stand here, the whole country is united. And that, that has been able to be achieved because of the clear-headed leadership of our president, who is His Excellency, General Yori Kagutam Seveni. And he has been able to do that because of programs, among others, like this one of patriotism. Because when you start grooming young ones at this stage against sectarianism, then by the time they sit in offices, by the time they are doing their businesses, they will continue embracing unity and considering Uganda as a strong starting point for them without thinking about any clickism. So I would like us to clap for His Excellency the President for bringing us so far up to now in terms of unifying the country and ensuring that this kind of programs are institutionalized in order to make them sustainable and keep us in shape with a clear direction as we move towards the middle income status. Here today, I see a very big component or sector of human resource development. This is education. Government believes in holistic education. Holistic education means you go to class, you go to the field, and now you also have ideological training like what you have been taken through. So I would like to thank government and the facilitators of this for choosing to come to Katakui to give ideological aspect of education to these learners. I would like to encourage you, as His Excellency the President, your patron, the initiator of your program, has always encouraged you to take up science programs and ICT. Because today, we need more initiators. We need more people with incub incubation centers to create jobs and create wealth. Because Uganda is a private sector-led country, our economy is private sector-led, I call upon all the teachers to, to as early as possible, enable our students to understand the meaning of a private sector-led so that they can in future initiate their private enterprises. And because if you have told them already, they know that they are now supposed to employ others. And that's the meaning of private sector led. All of us, you and I, can do something to, be, to make our economy stronger by understanding that it is private sector led. I would like also to give feedback to this audience, because many of them are from the district civil servants and also the leadership of the security here. With the interaction I had with the people recently, the information I have is that people are still lukewarm against the parish development model here because they are fearing that if they fail to pay, they, their land might be taken. 
that if they fail to pay, they will make them criminals and arrest them. That if they pay, fail to pay, even what is in their account, which was there before, which is not part of this money, will be followed and taken away. And they are saying that that's why maybe they are asking for their account numbers and that's why they are asking for their phone numbers. So I would like to call upon teachers, head teachers, to join this information sharing with the local community. For instance, government has implemented a program called Entandikwa, which was meant to liberate us from poverty. Program has also, uh, government also has implemented a program called the NADS, meant to remove us from poverty. The program called OWC, a program called the uh, Women Fund, a program called the Youth Fund, all those programs, uh, including EMIOGA, the newest EMIOGA. So from the time all those programs were implemented, no one has lost land, and yet we have benefited from those programs. That is the impression I would like you teachers to go and tell the communities. I'm telling you what I heard from them personally. I would like to call upon also teachers to participate in those householding camps so that when His Excellency the President comes around, we should visit one of the teachers' projects. Because as you know, what you do as teachers is what the, the, the students also always would like to emulate. <laughs> Let me now take this privilege and declare you officially passed out today. Congratulations once again. So, Jeremy, I have instructions. I have a lipon. 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 I have